As for the Pharaoh himself, we know that something terrible happened during Tutankhamun's reign that caused all records of his existence to disappear, including, crucially, the location of his final resting place. What? The Anderson Papyrus shows that the tomb also houses one of the magical emerald tablets. Yes, the existence of the emerald tablets is clearly documented. I should know. I played a major part in their recovery. But magical? I don't think so. Aren't they reputed to be mystical? There you go again! Mr. Nassiri, Egyptology is about more than magical, mystical, nonsensical pharaoh tales. Sit down! Sinclair, if the emerald tablets lack magical, mystical powers, why'd you steal them from me? Fremont, we were just talking about you. You still here? I thought you'd been kicked off campus for lying about your academic record. I know you're behind that smear. Of course, I'm behind every calamity that's ever happened to you. But to accuse me of stealing something about mystical, magical, now that really takes the biscuit. You may have ruined it, but it doesn't mean a damn thing. You haven't found the fourth tablet, or you wouldn't be bothering with me. Working on any new books lately? As a matter of fact, I am. It's about a group of powerful men who call themselves the Hellfire Council. Gosh, sounds like a bestseller to me. You're a fraud, Sinclair. Oh, that's rich. Your reputation is in tatters and I'm a fraud? You'll never find Jim Cummins' tomb. There's one thing I can't abide. It's sloppy scholarship. Check your sources. Learn to back up your argument with a few facts. Here's the problem. I was in bankroll through Oxford, and I didn't die fighting in the Great War. Now you're getting personal. I won't you get away with it, Sinclair. You won't win. I almost feel sorry for you. Be so good as to escort Mr. Fremont out of the building. I can find my own way out. 